I was thinking it's been a minute since I've done anything like this. Kind of took a long ass break from like content, content, content. I want to do the vlog. Vlog, vlog. I'm like literally not putting out any regular scheduled content. Like I was doing the Music Mastery podcast for every day for a year. Now I'm like, I have no content really. And it's because I've just been taking a break. But I feel like I want to get back to it. And I always wanted to have a vlog. And uh, I did do it a while ago called Lizzie's Life. So here we go, we back at it, Lizzie's Life. This is season two, last season, season one was only nine episodes. If you haven't watched those, you can go check those out. They're on my YouTube channel on a playlist called Lizzie's Life season one. And now I'm back, Lizzie's Life season two, two, two. I'm excited. Day in the life type stuff with me. We're gonna do episodes once a week. Be honest and open about what's going on in my life. Talk to you, show you things, reveal new things to you. Getting back to putting out content that I love to put out. Lizzie's Life season two. We in it, let's get it. Visions of a legend, you can never tie me down. Remember when they hated on me, but they like me now. Dripping way too heavy, gotta wipe me down. Living in the club, they try to strike me down. Morning walk vibes. Walking is something that is kind of a cornerstone of my life, actually. It's, it's honestly very underrated, I think, unless you walk. If you walk, if you know, you know. If you're not walking every day, you're missing out. Walking is great. It's like a super great way to clear your head, great way to get some nature. It is exercise. Like it's not super high intensity. Like it's not gonna get you ripped and shredded. But, you know, a lot of us live a very sedentary life. We sit at the computer or the desk all day or we sit in bed doing work. You know, your hip flexors get tight, your muscles get tight. You get out and you walk, walk, walk the old kickers around, you know, and you and you get you get some exercise, you get to move. And if you do two workouts a day, this could be a second workout. What I used to do was I would lift weights or play basketball in the morning or both of those things. And then later in the day or at night, I would walk. It's a great second workout. It's a great, if I do two walks today, which I'm gonna do, that's great to have two walks. I would recommend you start walking. It's gonna help you. Now, now, now the other thing I've started doing is not listening to anything on my walks. So I'll bring my phone to write ideas, but sometimes I won't listen to anything. Like I won't listen to music. I won't listen to podcasts. I'll just, think big talk which is kind of cool try it try it try it I mean but also if you want to listen to podcasts audiobooks that's good too there's nothing wrong with that hopefully it helps but today gonna be working on a new song I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna be mixing it's a song that I really like it's called victory I'll give you guys a sneak peek of it when I work on it it's gonna be a great day so what I'm doing now is I've got a show coming up and so what I'm doing now is setting up the performance versions of the song so what I mean by that is when I do songs, I like to have backing tracks, means like, you know, what I'm at, what's actually playing through the speakers, but I don't want the actual song because I don't want my voice from the song to play while I'm, I'm rapping. I want there to be emptiness. So, so for this, you can hear that my voice is coming up like the ad libs, but that's just, the, that's it. It's not my rapping, right? It's just the beat. And the reason I do that is because when I'm rapping live, I want people to really hear my voice live. A lot of performers, especially rappers, I don't know why, make that mistake. They just have their song play and they still have their vocals from the song. So then when they're rapping, it kind of sounds muddy, cluttered. So right now I'm going to make performance versions and then I'm going to head to the garage uh, and, and perform and... Maybe I'll show you a little footage of it from there. Let's get it. All right, first time I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna film myself performing. I'm gonna rewatch the film, but you're seeing the garage. Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, you're not gonna understand. But if you go back and you watch some of my videos and you see that this is literally where the studio was, you're gonna understand why it is crazy that it is so empty. And why is it so empty? Well, we're doing some work to it. It's freak, freak, freaking nuts. Right there where that black curtain was, right there, that was the table. The piano used to be right here. We gave that piano away. So the studio is actually in my bedroom right now. So this is a perfect rehearsal space. This is pretty crazy that it's empty. Anyway, so we're gonna set the tripod down. We are going to, we as in me by myself. <laughs> I always say we, but I really mean me. I am going to film myself performing and rewatch it, kind of like watching game film in a way. So let's get it. So we set it up. I grab this little lint brush. I'm gonna pretend like this is the microphone. I always like to hold something and pretend it's the mic, so. 
Let's go. This fall on my bro was, hey, hey, uh, play with the brother, but down on the bro. Exhibit my arc on me, Lizzy, but bro, hands up, uh, watch. I'm gonna take you on a real special journey. We in the kitchen. What we doing in the kitchen, Lizzy? <sighs> Making soup. What we gonna put in that soup? Let me show you. Now look, I'm not a pro chef. <laughs> I mean, I am. A little bit of meat. A little bit of whole lot of meat. Kelp noodles. Can I put some real noodles? Yeah. Tater, 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 taters. Trace taters. Trace taters. What else we got? Excited when I cook, man. Oh, organic black beans. Nah. Great northern beans. <laughs> small red beans. I like small red beans. Any other vegetables? <laughs> Potatoes and onions are like literally the only veggies I put in anything. Oh, oh, oh snap, crackle, pop. Someone done brought some tortellini in this house. <laughs> I'll make that tomorrow. Oh, I guess we'll put carrots. Even though I don't like carrots, other people like carrots, and I cook for other people. Celery, again, I don't like, but I'll do it for the others. That's all I'm doing. All right, so we got a lot of stuff. How about I close the refrigerator? Let's get in! I told you that I was gonna be mixing a song, and there's this song I'm working on called Victory. I already mixed it, so I mixed it, but I wanna revise it. So I just kinda wanna show you a quick, I'll give you a sneak peek. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make some adjustments to it. We are gonna go to the car and hear it in the car. I might listen to it in my earbuds, listen to it on my phone speakers. I'm just gonna take you in for the car test, but I'll give you a quick sneak peek and I'll tell you the revisions that I'm gonna make. Since day one, I've been committed. Recite my stories like the scriptures in the Bible written. So what, what I hear, and you might not be able to hear it, but what I'm hearing is I, I think the kick is a little too loud. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. The other thing too, and this is going to sound like, like such an insane small change, but I'm actually going to change like the whole, like all the plugins on the vocals. It's my prime ain't in that mental prison. I just didn't like how harsh the vocals were sounding. Like, By the way, I really want to give a shout out to my homegirl, Katie. Katie B, Katie Batlin. She made me this. Uh, she and her brother, she used to own a wine bar. Her brother still owns it, but now she's in Dubai coaching basketball because she's awesome. And we coached basketball together. And one day she goes, Lizzy, I got something for you, like out of nowhere and just boom. Isn't this so cool? She just printed this label. She's a really good friend. She's just a good person. I haven't drunk, uh, like, sipped this yet. Like, I'm not like a giant wine guy. I like wine sometimes, but. I actually could put it on my desk. It's a cool thing, you know? All right, so I adjusted the vocals. They were sounding a little bit too harsh on certain parts. We're gonna go hit the car. We're gonna listen to it in the car and uh, see how it sounds. So let's get it. It is such a beautiful day. I gotta show you something. Bro, 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 look at these grapes. Boop. Grapes. How's the fig tree doing? So what you do, check the color, bite the top, spit that out. Pray to God, thank God for that fig. Boom. Crack it. Crack it open. Way go, dude. Truthfully, I like to just go listen to songs in the car so I have an excuse to go get some fruit from the garden. I mean, I just had a handful of grapes and figs. Oh, it's not cold in here. Actually, I have a really funny story I'm gonna tell you. So, back in the day, I used to do music with a guy named Noah Ryder, super great producer. And we, <laughs> we used to go in his car and listen to songs. We'd be up at tw 1, 2 a.m. And we'd be in the car right out in front of his house and we would be blasting the music, no joke. And his dad could hear him from upstairs inside of his house. So one time at like 2 a.m., we weren't like paying attention to outside. We're just like vibing to the song. And then suddenly we hear, and we get, so we got so scared. His dad's standing right out there. And his dad goes, are you guys trying to wake up the whole neighborhood? It's like 2 a.m. He's like, I can literally hear you guys from upstairs. We were like, wow, our bad. 
let's play this uh, mix that we just did. Recite my stories like the scriptures in the Bible written. So I'm gonna make a couple notes. Make transition from verse one to chorus one smoother. I just feel like that transition is too rough. So a trick when you're listening to a mix, my homie Corey told me this, a lot of the time, what people do is they'll get super excited, so they'll turn their speakers up because they like really want to hear it. But the best way to judge the balance between like your vocals and all the instruments is actually turn it down and listen to it at a quiet volume. This helped me a lot because I used to not have my kicks be very present. It would bother me. And I started tr doing this and this helped a lot. I'm liking the way this sounds. I was really good at this low volume. I'm feeling the mix. I'm really like, I like it a lot. I'm happy that I got to get, I got to take you with me. I packed in a lot of stuff in this vlog. Super excited to bring back Lizzie's Life season two. This was season two, episode one. Make sure you like the video and hit the bell notification. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel because you don't want to miss out on any episodes of Lizzie's Life. And I'm really, really, really excited to bring this back. And I appreciate you for coming on this journey with me. I'm just trying to document my journey and show you what it, you know, what it's like to uh, be on the journey of an independent rapper. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. And I'm, I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Since day one, I've been committed.